All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about how to reset and pair your PS4 controller. So the first thing to do if you want to reset your PS4 controller to factory default is to flip it over and find the little hole underneath of the light bar which contains the reset button. Once you find that, go ahead and grab either a paper clip or the end of a mechanical pencil and press the little button in there for around 5 seconds which will reset the controller to stock. This is really helpful when you're trying to pair this either with a new computer or with a different PlayStation 4 because it simply removes whatever it might have been paired with before and makes it want to connect to something new. If you want to connect this to something other than a PlayStation 4, you're going to need to make the PlayStation 4 controller discoverable. In order to do this, you gotta hold the PlayStation button and the share button on the front of the controller for a few seconds until the light bar flashes. This should make it show up as a Bluetooth device to connect to either your PC, your Mac, or maybe even a mobile device that allows you to use controllers. If you'd like to pair this with a new PlayStation 4, maybe you just reset it after using it on your PC, or you have a brand new one, all you have to do is find a micro USB cable, either one that came with your PlayStation 4 or one that came with a new controller, plug it into your PlayStation 4, and press and hold the PS4 button. This should make it turn on, the light bar should turn on, maybe flash, and then it should say it's connected. If your PlayStation 4 is off, which is a state that they sometimes recommend you have it in, it'll turn the PlayStation 4 on, and then it should be able to pair that way. And that's how you reset and pair your PlayStation 4 controller with either your PlayStation 4 or your computer or some other device, along with how to reset it. If you have any other questions or comments, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help. And I'll also link some of the documentation in case you need to do some troubleshooting with your own controller, which I didn't cover here in this tutorial. I hope you found this guide helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and toodaloo.